ready for Mikey Send TV. Four, three, two, one, zero. Right, guys it's time for another episode of grandpa reads tonight we're gonna read the night before Christmas this is my granddaughter meadow so let's read all right the night before Christmas here we go Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama, in her kerchief, and I, in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. Look at him napping. Mm. Look at that, that's pretty. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. That's a tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. Look at them reindeer. Mm -hmm. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the courses they flew, with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ash and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His draw little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was white as snow. Look at that. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye, 
and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and lying a finger aside his nose, and giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they flew like the down of a thistle, and I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight. Merry Christmas to all, and to all, a good night. There we go. That's a really good book, isn't it? It's so pretty, and all the illustrations, the drawings, and the colors, so pretty. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed another episode of Grandpa Reads with my little granddaughter, Meadow. My other granddaughter isn't here tonight. She's a little young, so she don't stay the night with us. But maybe next year, she'll get to be here, too. All right. Don't forget, guys. Get up, get out, get ready, do it to it, and have a great holiday season. I hope you get plenty of gifts. Ready? Let's wave. See you all later. Mwah. Happy New Year! Merry Christmas! Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it!